are you this morning? I'm better. After scratching for four hours last night from heat rash. Yeah, so I have to stay cool today and tomorrow I'll be a whole new person. We have to figure out what we're going to do today. Yeah, we're going to look at Sonatas, maybe. So we haven't really figured out what we're going to do today, but we're in Puerto Morelos for the whole day and there's a beautiful beach down there that's the closest thing we know of. And then there's also the possibility that there might be a cenota within close cycling distance and the cenotas, they're just uh, like awesome. Doesn't matter which one you go to, they're always kind of cool. None of the above. Not the cenotas and not the beach were going to happen that day. The weather just didn't cooperate. Today we have the pleasure of eating outdoors. Beautiful place, good tacos, everything's good. And it's raining like cats and dogs. I, I'm, I'm not kidding you, look behind me. I'm getting just a little, a uh, few drops on my, my neck, but I'm good. And Barbara is right across from me. She's filming the rain because <laughs> I don't think we were expecting that at all. Look at the, oh, I gotta turn this around. Barbecue is uh, yeah. there with the water. Light and green. Still love it. All right. This is not the day to eat outside, but we got our food and we're enjoying it, right, Barb? <laughs> yeah. can't change the weather. <laughs> we just booked another day at our hotel here, which is nice, but it wasn't in the plans. We were going to move on today, but last night we had this torrential downpour and we figured everything's still wet. And then we looked at the weather forecast for today and it also has a hundred percent chance of rain in it. And as we're sitting here, it changed from really nice weather to another uh, shower. It's not really intense right now, but it's, it's you know, still, you know, it's really horrible, like compared to minus 50, right? Well, so yeah. So we're not really complaining, we're just... <laughs> yeah, we're not really, we're not really complaining. We're just wusses. We don't want to get <laughs> wet on our bikes. <laughs> Anyways, it's, it's okay here. We don't mind it. So just, yeah, that was just... Yeah, we just want to stay dry. That's all. <laughs> yeah. All right, we, we might uh, still ride our bikes today because we like to explore, but we don't know how this is going to pan out yet. So stay tuned for drama. Say too much at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so at breakfast we had a rain shower, and now it's like hot, humid, sunny, and uh, we decided we're going to take the bikes and explore this road because it's also called the Ruta de Cenotes. So there should be cenotes on this route and I don't know the best case scenario we find a beautiful one we go swimming and uh, if not we'll at least explore this area a little bit so that's a good way to spend the day I guess talk to you later we definitely preferred this secondary road over the main highway but is it any safer 
I don't know because there's absolutely no shoulder here and traffic can get busy. See, there's a sign saying not to. So we're at a cenote called uh, Luna y Sol. It is basically the closest one from Puerto Morelos. We rode about, I would say, seven or eight kilometers on our bikes from the hotel. And it's just kind of bright here. It was a good ride because uh, the road is, while it's narrow and no shoulder, it's quiet. And uh, people gave us lots of space, so that's a good thing. The only problem with roads like that is that like when you got oncoming traffic, then uh, sometimes you get drivers who don't have the patience to pass you or to slow down when they pass you and give you the space. But today I think we had a pretty good ride. And now we're at the Cenote. We paid 300 pesos each. That's uh, 600 pesos and I hope it's worth the price because yeah, the cenote is not very big as you can see behind me and uh, we have to change and shower before we go in there. And we'll definitely go in there and you'll see what it looks like in the, inside the water too because I got the water camera and Barbara does have one too. thinking the turtles haven't come up. We don't see any heads anywhere around here. Mm. It's because they can go down and then under here somewhere there's a shelf they can hide where there's water, where they can pop their heads up. Yeah. When we first came in here, we saw a turtle in the cenote. So now the turtle is gone, disappeared. We're the only two people here, which is nice. <laughs> like we're enjoying this. But it's not what very about big. the turtle? <laughs> like, do we look scary? If you were a turtle, would you run away? Oh, wow. You don't need to answer that. <laughs> and not just one turtle, because over in the shelf there, it had a mate. There was two or three weren't there that popped into the water as we got in. Right. Mm -hmm. At one point, three other people showed up, but they didn't like what was floating around in the water, so probably the cenote lost 900 pesos because they just decided to turn around and go somewhere else. That's when they got this guy to scoop all the stuff out. Then it started raining and it was 
So much fun. Right, we're hanging out under a canopy right now because it looks like it's gonna rain here any minute. Rain isn't the problem. Yeah, the thunder is the problem. <laughs> and if the camera is shaking us because I am because yeah we were in the water for quite a while and well now it's cloudy and we don't warm up as fast as we normally would. By the way I don't know if I mentioned it but um, this cenote it's about seven kilometers away from Puerto Morelos and uh, there's a guy at the side of the road who will kind of flag you down when you come by here and then um, he asked us to like he told us the price is uh, 300 pesos each now that works out to $20 so together we paid $40 to get in here and at this point we have no idea if that's uh, a good price or not but we we could spend the whole day here and uh, we really li like this place but one thing is for sure a price like that we, we cannot afford to do this every day so that's special for us today The rain is slowing down, so we'll probably get our window of opportunity pretty soon here to go back to Puerto Morelos without getting too soaked. I don't want them to squeeze by with just a millimeter. The ride wasn't as terrible as this looks, but we were glad when we were back in Puerto Morelos. Uh. <laughs> Are you looking forward to your pizza? Yes, yeah. cheese. Yay! Yeah. After our big bike ride today, <laughs> small bike ride, big day at the Cenota. We're gonna enjoy a pizza together. And we had to ask which one was uh, not too hot, but she said none of them are. So we, we're gonna share it, right, Barb? Yeah. And uh, for a change, it's not tacos or anything tortilla based, so uh, it should be all good. <laughs> I know, I need a break. You know, you can only eat so many taco or tortilla. Tortilla? Tortilla. Yeah. Tacos. We had tacos. Well, we only had tacos one day. Now my idea of taco is different than their idea of taco. A taco is a tortilla with uh, something on top of it. In oh, Canada, yeah. a taco is a hard shell. <laughs> and you just, you know, and it's like a big chip. Yeah, but that's a Canadian interpretation. Yeah, down here it's like a little circle of um, corn. Fresh corn and, <laughs> and it's made into like a little crepe flap. <laughs> That's what you want to call it. You look at it and you go, oh great, just roast beef and uh, what do you call those things? Not habanero because I would not have survived that. No, we had the jalapeno. No, uh, was in avocado. 
Yeah, you had the avocado, I had the jalapeno. Remember, I had to find out where they were because I, I, yeah, almost lost my vocal cords. <laughs> I'll be like Rambo. After our pizza, we went to a store to get provisions for next day's ride. Check back where we're going. Next video, right here. You won't miss it as long as you're subscribed. Thank you.